Well, hello, Sagittarius. I'm Amber with Lives in Sync to Row, and this is your general love story reading. Well, this is your love story reading for mid May. I hope you're doing amazing. Please remember this is a general reading. If it does not resonate, please check your moon rising or Venus. And I suggest Venus, obviously, it's a love reading. But if you need a reading on your own personal energies, I'll be more than happy to do that. Links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above to book a session. So if you would like to know about my giveaways once a month this year, or have early access to any of these videos, or any other useful information, check the description box below. So, Sagittarius, let's jump into your love energy. Yeah. So, I feel like you have very ideal feelings for someone. Like, um, you know, like you're... You're in a sense of care and love and being open and all that. And someone is either using you for money or uh, stability purposes, so be careful. Some of you are going back to somebody in the past. Some of you, I'm telling you, this is family. Um, but I feel like you're getting yourself back in a situation. And it's because you have these idealistic views and feelings for someone. It's because you care and you're a good person. But I feel like you're getting dragged into something. Okay. So let's see, Sagittarius. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius? Love energy for mid May. So in the past, we have Justice and the Fool, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, there's that Page of Cups again, Four of Cups, Ace of Rods, Chariot, Empress, Six of Rods, Five of Cups, Ten of Rods, Queen of Rods, that's a realization. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. This is about realizing that you're not getting what you deserve here with this five of pentacles something's missing from this situation from this love affair from these emotions that you have it's like you're trying to connect to someone because you want to move forward or you want a practical new beginning or you see um you see this being something positive or um a way to stabilize the future or maybe a relationship with someone but I just feel like, I feel like you're not getting it, it back in the right way. This almost makes me feel like this is your realization to see that this isn't going to end pretty. Yeah. So you're starting to worry about this situation. I feel like things are looking weird. And it has something to do about the way this person is acting. You know? Um, it's almost like they take some sort of new direction that you weren't expecting. But it's really the direction that they want it to go in. So you thought that this was going one way and they're taking it a different way. And they're just expecting you to follow them because you care about them, because you want them, because, you know, it's, it's like they think that you're going to go in their direction, okay? So in the past with the Justice and the Fool card, I feel like you just wanted things to go right. You just wanted to do what was fair uh, weigh your options, see what was going on. So I feel like you took a risk. Yeah, you still had some feelings or 
it's like you had something that you needed to sort out Sagittarius and the only way to sort that out is to figure out what this person's truth is I almost feel like you believed them if they confessed something to you and you felt like good great okay the truth is finally out someone's being honest with me so I'm gonna go ahead and take this risk So it's almost like you're going forward on what you believe the truth to be, but it's not fully developed. So someone could have said something to you or came towards you. Somebody might have moved closer to you um, or you have the opportunity to help someone move forward. And I feel like that's what's on your mind. Yeah, it's a way for you to heal a situation and it's a way for you to help another person. OK, um, on their mind, I feel like they are. Ooh, this is interesting because I feel like they're juggling between their desires for stability and trying to keep you happy. And you think that this is a secure new beginning. Something is very iffy here. So you're open to new love and starting over and being infatuated and learning about the person um yeah you're changing your mind about this person and you're really doing some deep diving i feel like there has been issues in the past and you're thinking oh this person have changed the situation has changed they've moved something is new about their life But at the same time, you definitely feel Sagittarius that something is off, okay? This person sees you as the abundant person, you know? They see so many possibilities with you. And I feel like it has to do with your money, your stability, or who you are. So they're, it's like they're trying to figure out how to get a piece of you. These intentions do not feel good, Sagittarius. I'm going to be honest with you. You have very pure of heart energy. And theirs is very practical and money driven. So you feel like something is missing. You know, I feel like you're... There's too much confusion. The confusion comes in. It's like you finally realize something. Yeah, and, and, and you have to take some time to yourself. It's like you need to take a moment to focus. Whatever this is that jumped out at you when you thought someone had changed, but they kind of went back into their old behaviors. You're seeing it. It's not hitting you right. And your intuition, your spiritual energy is like, listen, something's off here. This person is like... I'm going to be successful. I'm going to get in here. I'm just going to keep talking what I'm talking. When they drift off, I'm going to come in and push them to do what I want because this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have Sagittarius. I'm going to do this, right? What's interesting is I feel like you start taking control, Sagittarius, and you start fighting back. Um, this is you like saying things to them like uh, if they say oh I need gas money you'd be like well what happened that you don't have any gas money and I feel like this makes this person mad yeah so they're looking at it at a different way they're looking at it as you're bringing up the past you're not trying to work with them you know you're not trying to compromise and they're like, well, it's like they're trying to blame you, that they're trying to start things over. They're trying to work with you. They're trying to make this work, but you're not.
So in the future, we have the Ten of Rods and the Queen of Rods. Very interesting. I feel like this is going to go on for a little while. Yeah, especially with the Knight of Pentacles. It'll go on a little while because you care about this person or there's some nurturing going on here. Um, but I feel like after a while with the Queen of Swords, like it's eventually going to be cut off. It's just too much heaviness. It's too much back and forth. It's too much of you. You want to be open and emotionally like vulnerable and, and feel safe. And I don't feel like you think or you don't feel like you can be that way in this in this situation. So it's just too much of a burden. I feel like you, yeah, I feel like you break this down, Sagittarius. You know, it's like it's already fell up, a falling apart. It's nice that it's nice that you got to have this happiness with this person. And I feel like there's always going to be a connection here. Um, but I feel like, you know, this is what's interesting. I feel like you continue it, like you're not completely cutting off, but I feel like emotionally you're distant. So if this person can continue to make you happy, if they can continue to open up to you in, a, in the right way and not ask you for things or seem a little iffy, then maybe you could be together. But yeah, and it has to do with your love for this person. That's all it is. Your love for them is very, very strong. You do care about this person a lot. So I don't feel like you're emo you're going to fully cut them off, but you're definitely making your decisions about how you're going to move forward in the future. And I, honestly, it has everything to do with boundaries. Everything. And I said this in your general reading. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. So let's pull some love cards for you. Yeah, so I feel like after a breakup, you decided to try to start this over again and see if something was there, you know? It felt like things had changed. I understand that. So you were thinking, oh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is a change. This is something amazing. But I, it's because you're sweet. Not sweet, but... You definitely do benefit of the doubts here. And you expect for someone to give that back to you. But then you start to see this person's behavior change or something about them changing. And you really start to revamp your ideas about this relationship. So you, have, you do some inner work. You find out some inner things. You do love and care about this person, as I said before. I feel like you're not saying what you're going to do. Um, you know, like you feel a connection to this person. So, you're still like, maybe we're going in a different way, direction. I don't know yet. That's why I feel like where you are, mid May. You don't really know yet, but... You're starting to see the signs, the red flags, as they say. I feel like this person isn't exposing their true self. They're really just living in the moment. They're not thinking things through long term. They don't understand that you can see that. Whatever this is, this contract that you two have together isn't really completely over. I feel like there's a lesson here. And I do, I feel like the lesson is boundaries. Yeah, eventually you see the truth of what's going on here. But I feel like you decide to... 
You decide to keep moving forward because of the love that you have for this person and seeing what's going to happen. So yeah, I do feel like you put on a mask for a little while until something really big happens. And it's because you're hoping for a transformation and you're hoping for a change. But all this has to do with you really holding on to who this person was and not who they are now. Yeah, because you care. <laughs> because you care. Because you're loving. You know, it's so funny, Sagittarius. Since I've been doing your readings, I see a lot more emotion in your readings than I have ever. Like, I feel so much, like, care from you. You really do care. It's just that when people don't care back or give you equal response back when you need it, it is bad. <laughs> That's what I've noticed from your readings. So every step counts. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. And that's what I feel like you are doing. Um, I don't feel like you're completely leaving this situation behind right now. But you're definitely weighing the options. You know, it's kind of like you're seeing like, is there some gray area that we can sit in in this situation? Should I just cut it off? What is the next step? But this is more of a realization of someone's true intentions or true feelings and where you are and trying to balance those two things. Yeah, so I feel like you're not saying anything quite yet. But you're definitely looking at your boundaries and your options here. Alright, so thank you for being here. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.